First Lady Michelle Obama has planted a vegetable garden on the White House lawn uh, that's helped inspire Americans across the country to do the same in their own uh, backyards and in their communities. And when the president asks you what, are you, what are we doing, you have to take it seriously. So we've been working on some other important steps as well. And the number one question we get when we talk about greening the White House is whether we're going to put solar panels on the roof. So in keeping with our commitment uh, to lead by example, we have an important announcement to make, and so I'd like to uh, invite to join me on the stage um, our, our partner in this and our friend and colleague, uh, Energy Secretary Steve Chu. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Nancy. Before I begin my talk, as Nancy said, I want to make a very exciting announcement. As you know, President Obama has a strong commitment to American leadership in solar technologies and the jobs they create. Through the Recovery Act, we're supporting deployment of today's solar technologies, and we're on track to double our renewable energy generation capacity by 2012. We're also investing next generation solar power through R&D programs at the Department of Energy. But today, we're taking another important step as we move towards a clean energy economy, the White House will lead by example. I'm pleased to announce that by, by the end of this spring, there will be solar panels that convert sunlight into electricity and a solar hot water heater on the roof of the White House. It's been a long time since we've had them up there. <laughs> These two solar installations will be part of the Department of Energy demonstration project. The project will show that American solar technology is available, reliable, and ready to install in homes throughout the country. Around the world, the White House is a symbol of freedom and democracy. It should also be a symbol, a symbol of America's commitment to a clean energy future. And with that, I'd like to begin my talk. Thank you, Nancy. 